Hello and welcome to Obla Air, a Learn English radio series from the British Council. I'm Joan Walker. And I'm David Evans. And in this series, we follow the story of a budget airline based in the city of Freeport. At the same time, we aim to improve your English language skills. So, what's in this programme? We hear the next episode in the story of Obla Air. We also look at some common colloquial expressions, phrases that you often hear in everyday conversation. But first, let's remind you of what's been happening in the story. Mars Anthony is a young man who has arrived in Freeport with no luggage, no money and nowhere to go. He's been brought to the Obla Air officers because he's got into trouble with the police and Betsy has to decide what to do with him. Here she tells her plan to Kenjay, the taxi driver. Well, what are you going to do with him? I've been thinking about that. We don't want him running round Freeport causing us any more problems. No, I can see that. And uh, you haven't found his bag, I suppose? No. So? So I've got a spare room. He can stay with me tonight. Oh, Betsy, you be careful. We don't know much about him, but one thing we do know is that he's trouble. You forget, Kenji. I raised three sons by myself. If anyone can deal with trouble, I can. So Betsy explains that she's going to let Maz stay in her spare room. A spare room is an empty room in your home that is often used for guests. In the next scene, we hear Betsy and Maz talking at the breakfast table the following morning. Betsy asks him, So, Maz, how was breakfast? And she doesn't like his reply because it's not polite. He says to her, It was all right. I've had worse. So what does Betsy tell him to say? And what does she tell him to do after that? And how does Muzz react? Here are those questions again. What does Betsy tell Muzz to say? What does she tell him to do after that? And how does Muzz react? Here's the scene. So, Muzz, how was breakfast? Yeah, it was all right. I'm sorry? I said it was all right. I've had worse. Muzz, when you are a guest in someone's home, that is not what you say. You say, thank you very much, Betsy. That was delicious. Okay? Yeah, yeah. And then you take your dirty plate and your knife and fork and your mug over to the sink. Right? What do you say? Mm-hmm. Well, I, I didn't hear that. Thank you very much. Betsy. Betsy. That was... Yeah, delicious. Excellent. And now... I put all these things in the sink, all right? Good. And then? Then? I don't know. What? Why are you looking at me? And then you wash them up. I wash them up? You're kidding. No, I am not kidding. I'm in a hurry. I've got to get ready for work and there is no reason why a young man like you shouldn't lend a hand. Come on. Oh, all right. You win. But don't blame me if I break something. So Betsy tries to teach Maz some good manners, some polite ways of behaving. When she asks him, how was breakfast? She tells him to reply, Thank you very much, Betsy. That was delicious. And then what does she tell him to do? She says, You take your dirty plate and your knife and fork and your mug over to the sink. By the way, a mug is a big cup with a handle often used for drinking tea or coffee. Anyway, what does she tell him to do after that? She says, And then you wash them up. And remember, wash is used to talk about cleaning yourself or cleaning clothes. When you clean plates and pots and cups, you say, wash up. Mars replies to Betsy, I wash them up? You're kidding. But Betsy is not kidding or joking. She says, I'm in a hurry. I've got to get ready for work. And so Mars does what he's told to do. It sounds like he's not used to that, but he's certainly learning that it's a good idea not to argue with Betsy. You're listening to Obler Air. 
a Learn English radio series brought to you by the British Council. The next scene begins with the captain walking towards the Obler Air Office, talking on his mobile phone. He's leaving a message for Livia Hawke. What does he ask Livia to do? He then meets Pavi outside the office. She's obviously upset, so the captain asks her, Is something wrong? So what's happened at the Obler Air office? Let's find out. And as you listen, answer one more question. What is the captain most worried about? I'll give you those three questions again. When the captain leaves a message for Livia Hawke, what does he ask her to do? What has happened at the Obler Air office? And what is the captain most worried about? Here's the scene. Good morning, Livia. It's Captain Obler again. Why is your phone always switched off? Anyway, sorry again about yesterday. Mistake, my fault. But I really would like to show you some more of Freeport. So please, give me a call and Ken J and I will come and pick you up. Anytime, you say when and I promise we can show you some really special places. All right, bye for now. Captain. Hello, Pavi. Is something wrong? I'm sorry, Captain. W what is it? It's the office. There's been a break-in. No. Oh, no. What a mess. They've taken all the furniture, Captain. And they've taken the computers, of course. Oh, that's all our bookings. That's all our records. Oh, Pavi, what am I going to do? I don't know. Shall I call the police? No, no, don't worry. I'll do it. Best not to touch anything. We'll tidy up later. OK. I'll call Betsy and tell her what's happened. So when the captain leaves a message for Livia Hawke, what does he ask her to do? He says... Please give me a call, and Ken J and I will come and pick you up. The captain is obviously planning to take Livia on another tour of Freeport. He says... We can show you some really special places. But then the captain meets Pavi outside the Obla Air office. She seems very upset about something. What has happened? Pavi tells the captain... There's been a break-in. A break-in is another word for a burglary. It's when thieves use force to enter a building and steal things. Anyway, the captain and Pavi go into the Obler Air office and look around. Pavi says... They've taken all the furniture, Captain. But what is the captain most worried about? He says... And they've taken the computers. That's all our bookings. That's all our records. So it's bad news for Obler Air. The burglars have taken everything and they've made a terrible mess. And we'll find out how Betsy, Pavi and the captain cope with the situation next time. This is Obla Air, a Learn English radio series brought to you by the British Council. And now let's take a closer look at some of the language we've met today, in particular some of the colloquial expressions. These are phrases which are common in everyday conversation. Muzz used a phrase which means, you're joking. Can you spot it in this extract? I washed them up. You're kidding. No, I am not kidding. I'm in a hurry. And the phrase that means, you're joking, is... You're kidding. You're kidding. I washed them up. You're kidding. No, I am not kidding. I'm in a hurry. We also heard a phrase which means to help. Can you hear Betsy use it in this extract? And there is no reason why a young man like you shouldn't lend a hand. The phrase that means to help is... Lend a hand. Lend a hand. And there is no reason why a young man like you shouldn't lend a hand. We also heard Mars use a phrase which means I won't take responsibility or it's not my fault. Can you hear it? But don't blame me if I break something. The phrase was Don't blame me. 
Don't blame me. But don't blame me if I break something. And let's focus on one more phrase from the next scene. When the captain entered the office after the break-in, he talked about the chaos and confusion in the room. What phrase did he use to describe it? Oh, no. What a mess. They've taken all the furniture, Captain. And the phrase to describe the chaos and confusion was... What a mess. What a mess. Oh, no. What a mess. They've taken all the furniture, Captain. Let's hear those phrases again. You're kidding. Lend a hand. Don't blame me. What a mess. You're kidding. Lend a hand. Don't blame me. What a mess. Now here's a chance to hear the whole of today's drama again. So, Muzz, how was breakfast? Yeah, it was all right. I'm sorry? I said it was all right. I've had worse. Muzz, when you are a guest in someone's home, that is not what you say. You say, thank you very much, Betsy. That was delicious. Okay? Yeah, yeah. And then you take your dirty plate and your knife and fork and your mug over to the sink. Right? What do you say? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I didn't hear that. Thank you very much. Betsy. Betsy. That was... Yeah, delicious. Excellent. And now? I put all these things in the sink, all right? Good. And then? Then? I don't know. What? Why are you looking at me? And then you wash them up. I wash them up? You're kidding. No, I am not kidding. I'm in a hurry. I've got to get ready for work, and there is no reason why a young man like you shouldn't lend a hand. Come on. Oh, all right. You win. But don't blame me if I break something. Good morning, Livia. It's Captain Obler again. Why is your phone always switched off? Anyway, sorry again about yesterday. Mistake. My fault. But I really would like to show you some more of Freeport. So please, give me a call and Ken J and I will come and pick you up. Anytime, you say when and I promise we can show you some really special places. All right. Bye for now. Captain. Hello, Pavi. Is something wrong? I'm sorry, Captain. W what is it? It's the office. There's been a break-in. No. Oh, no. What a mess. They've taken all the furniture, Captain. And they've taken the computers, of course. Oh, that's all our bookings. That's all our records. Oh, Pavi, what am I going to do? I don't know. Shall I call the police? No, no, don't worry. I'll do it. Best not to touch anything. We'll tidy up later. OK. I'll call Betsy and tell her what's happened. But that's all for today. You've been listening to Obla Air, a Learn English radio series brought to you by the British Council. Until next time, from David Evans and me, Joan Walker, goodbye.